Think this. The universities in the near future might look very different to what we have had this far. We may have no teachers, we may have no classrooms, we may have no programs. Let me explain why I think this way. I'm Marco Villeni, the Traveling Futurist. Now, I have spent the last 40 years, most of my life, in the university. Either as a student and then as a teacher, as a researcher, as a professor. But the universities themselves are very old. They actually come almost from a thousand years since the first university, the University of Bologna, was established. 1088, so almost 1,000 years ago. Now they also invented the word university, which in those days was universitas. Universitas meaning the whole. So the whole idea was actually to bring the scholarship, the knowledge of that time, whether secular or religious knowledge together into a forum, into a platform. That has been how universities have been building over the decades and centuries. They have been the sources and compilations of knowledge. And the form of the university was that, let students come in, let's have a classes, let's have a program that forms the sequence of what is there to be taught or learned and let's give them the right and the mandate to give degrees. That's how the universities around the world have been working these last thousand years. Now, however, we can see that there are lots of elements that are changing. The one element is obviously the technology. There are a lot of new technologies that enable teaching and learning to happen over the limits of space and time. And when we think about the future, particularly the artificial intelligence, will provide a very new means how this actually process of learning can be supported. Secondly, there is also something that has happened in our job markets, in our kind of a core of our society and economy, which is that the professions that has been built, particularly the last 200 years, as a result of modernization and build up of industrial society, those professions are not so clear anymore, which means that if you are educated in a certain way, in the past, you could be, at certain level, quite confident that there would be a job for you. The universities have always had sort of a two basic functions. One function is to actually to grow people literate about the world, meaning that they know actually how the world works and functions, but they also know what type of the ideas have been out there that have created this world which is around us. So that's sort of one key function. And the other function is then that it gives you the basis for your profession. When these job markets are changing as fast as they do now, it means that university also need to find new ways how it functions, how it works. Let me iterate this by looking at some other sector. Let's take the banking sector. So how the banking sector has actually changed in the last 30 years. You remember how the banks look like back in time. They had branches, I would say in almost every village 
at least in the little towns. And when people needed to do some banking activities, they went to these little offices, they went to these branches and dealt what was needed over there. Today, we know that maybe 90 something percent of all activities related to dealing with banks happens via internet, virtually. That has been a drama because we don't have any more those amount of them branches, but we have a fraction of branches. So there was a huge amount of people, professional people that had to leave their job. What also happened in the banking sector that there came a lot of other players from early funders like angel capitalists to private equity investors and all kinds of new vendors that came basically on the same market where traditionally there have been mostly just banks. Banks got challenged and the whole network of those kinds of bodies that are working within the banking sector have expanded quite dramatically. I wanted to give this example from banking to give you a bit of a flair what might happen in the university. The universities are very old and venerable institutions and they are not very fast to change. Banks change very rapidly because there was new technology. They were in the business and they had to follow the interest of their clients. The change is very rapid. In the universities, which are a bit like states within the states, this type of the rapid change may not happen, but there is still a lot of things going on. So the challenge for the universities is now, can they reinvent themselves, their ways of working, their ways of interacting inside the universities, say between teachers and the students, are they able to reinvent themselves, rejuvenate themselves? According to the new possibilities and according to the new demands that come from outside. So already now we have seen that pandemic pushed us to teach and learn virtually. But now that we start to be over the pandemic, that doesn't mean that we go back to where we were before. It seems like there is already a very new normal there, how the teaching is taking place, how the learning is taking place. And again, we see the same phenomenon as before. It happens because there is a comfort efficiency in terms of the learning, and that there is new technologies that enable this change to happen. The fact is that yes, we human beings, we decide how we deal with these new technologies. We are not driven by them, but we need to know that we have a certain possibilities that comes out of these new technologies. And with that, we might ask ourselves, how do we learn in the future? What is the way that I can have an access to the type of higher education that I particularly want? In the old days, which is not that far away, we had to go and apply and make somehow sure that we were able to access in sight, access where the teaching was given in that particular place. If this is changed in the near future, that you can actually reach anywhere, that obviously changes the paradigm that we have been using this far. Also, when it comes to the different programs, I have seen in my university and in many other universities that universities are thinking the programming of the 
a teaching and their products in a new way. So rather than kind of a stemming from this old rigid idea of the disciplines, academic disciplines, as they have been built over the centuries, there is a new idea to actually try to mix different disciplines together in providing some new insights and some solution to some particular problem. So if we think about the energy system or we think about the, the, the buildings and the architecture, in all of these areas, in the future, we need to use much more multidisciplinary approach, meaning that we need to use as teachers, as teachers, but also as students, we need to be able to use and have an access to different kind of a dif disciplinary information. To be able to work on this project, to be able to come up with the solutions that are innovative. And that, again, will change the universities. The paradox in this type of the change is that while we think that virtual learning or virtual education will distantiate ourselves, in the end it might bring something totally different. It might bring more interaction, more activity, more type of the assignments where we learn any particular thing rather than learning from the books. And that is also something that already is very much sort of in the buds and visible in many universities, but in the future much more so, that these learning methods are becoming much more effective because it's more like an experiential learning. We learn through the experience. We learn through working with something rather than reading books. Reading books is going to still be important, but we need to also to use other methods available. And thus, as a result of all these kind of a new activities, university may become also a hotspots of this new type of activity and interaction that builds a knowledge using the methods and the tools and the insights of our century rather than past centuries. Summarizing, universities have to follow their times as any other institution in our society. The question is that are the universities able to do that and keep their relevance as knowledge hubs, as educational centers in our world? That is the ultimate question for the university. And I'm looking forward to see the universities that can tackle that challenge. Subscribe to my channel, check related videos, and give your idea. What is the future of universities? See you.